Thanks for joining Earth Radio. Today we have Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson discussing the concept of evolving global wealth representation. If you like our summary videos, check out the Earth Experiment at earth.io. I think in the next five years, we're going to see a lot of nation states, their central banks, take positions in cryptocurrencies. I think we're going to see a lot of countries start issuing their own cryptocurrencies. So the CBDC area is going to get very sexy and hot, and there's going to be significant competition from the BIS. Uh, and that's a great thing for all of us. I also think people are going to start having a more nuanced conversation about the representation and storage of wealth. We generally look at people and say, that person's a millionaire or a billionaire. We measure that wealth in the national unit of account. This is how much yen they have. This is how many dollars they have. For example, we have the Forbes rich list, and it shows you all these people, and they have their pictures, who they are, what they've done, and how much they're worth in dollars. What our industry is doing is transforming the entire concept of wealth representation to a portfolio. Instead of saying, I have X dollars, you'll have a basket. And that basket will have tokens, and those tokens will be fluid. So when you go to Starbucks, when you go to McDonald's, when you go to Walmart, when you go to your local store or restaurant and buy something, one day, maybe five years, maybe 10 years, but this is inevitable. One day, you'll use your cell phone or some digital device or payment card that's programmable. You'll tap it, and you pay in the instrument of value you want to pay in. And they get paid in the instrument of value they want to get paid in. So maybe it's a European cafe and they get paid in euros. And guess what? You could have paid in airline miles or you could have paid in Pokemon cards that are now NFTs. You could have paid in fractional reserve of your house. You could have paid in tokenized gold. You could have paid in tokenized silver. And somewhere along the way, there's these amazing rails that are going to be running that handle all the tokenomics. They handle the decentralized market making. They handle the liquidity. And it's an instant transaction. And they get exactly what they want, when they want it, where they want it, how they want it. This is the world we're moving towards. But regardless of where you're at, whether you're a maximalist or a person who loves all these coins or hates all of them, uh, I think it's a moment for all of us to reflect about the fact that we're moving towards portfolio-based value and what this is going to mean for the entire world. This is it. The revolution has come, is here, is here to stay. And in the next few decades, everything is going to change about the way wealth works.